This tutorial features the progress page for the Epic customer. On the progress page you will see several notes. This is to help with communication between the DHS staff person and the CBO staff person so that you can communicate back and forth about the customer. Under the eligibility status, the customer is currently SNAP eligible. The DHS caseworker is the only one who can update SNAP eligibility. If I want to update the SNAP eligibility, it gives me the option of saying ineligible or eligible. We're going to leave it as eligible for this exercise. The DHS caseworker can only change who the primary contact is. As you can see, the CBO contact has not been designated at this time. You can receive case notes and emails noticing you on the upload of any information that may be pertinent to you managing this person's caseload. I've changed windows here and logged in as a test CBO person. As you can see now, my screen has changed just a little bit because I now have access to change who the primary contact is for the CBO. The other points on this page that we need to pay attention to as the CBO representative are the upload forms for the 2151 and the 2151A. Within 48 hours of the customer's appointment, you as the career navigator for the CBO should be uploading a 2151 form to let the DHS caseworker know that the participant attended their appointment. If you do not have the 2151, you can download the 2151 here. It will download to your computer or you can view the file. I'm going to open it with Adobe Acrobat. This is preferable because in Acrobat you can change the form and the system will recognize those changes. In the form you will see a number of items that are already filled in including the date, the time, when the person was referred to you, what their information is. The important pieces here are for you to complete the referral form. You want to check one of these boxes, Client Assessment Completed, Client Service Initiated, No Contact from Client, or Referral Rejected, and explain why. I'm going to add the date today, and I'm also going to add the expected date of service. No signature is required at this time, only if you require the information authorizing the person to give you their records from a different department in the Department of Human Services. When you are done completing the form, save it to your computer. I'm going to select a folder and I will save the file in my drive. Back in the customer's progress, I will select the box that says Upload Completed 2151 form, browse my computer, select the file, upload it. I can put any note in here that I want to. Then click the upload button. As you can see the form date and time is there, what it is, what the file name is, the note, and who uploaded it. I can also remove it at a later time if I notice that the form is incorrect for some reason. When you are done uploading the form you want to mark the customer as either enrolled or exited because this is a new customer it will be enrolled and what program did they finally select are they doing hospitality test or after your initial assessments will they be doing employment services only update that then within 24 hours of that, you do need to be uploading an initial 2151A form to tell what the customer will be doing for the remainder of the month that you are in at 20 hours a week. And between the first and the fifth of each month, you will be uploading a 2151A form 
for the activities that happened in the month prior for that customer. The same process applies. You will download the form here, open it, or manipulate it in Adobe Reader. Then you will need to fill out the time for whichever activity the person participated in. So I'm going to do vocational training with a start date and I'm going to have this person in 80 hours of activity. Then you need to check the box here for the client's progress, acceptable progress or other option, recommended course of action, there's no change, continue standard practice. Then if there are any other notes, you scroll down and make your comments on the comment page. Save your file in your folder. Back on the progress page, you will upload the form that you just downloaded. Make sure that you are uploading the 2151A. Make any note and then click upload. You can also upload any other documents by selecting this Upload Other Documents button. This is a running representation of the documents regarding this particular customer. That's it for the progress page. Watch this and other tutorials on the Epic Partner Resources page. <music>